just a little preview of uh, different spawning containers that I use in tanks. Uh, some are rectangular, as you can see, these first two ones. I got a five gallon one here, and then a two and a half. Uh, these are pail buckets that I've used before. They're about uh, about two gallons or so, or about a gallon, gallon and a half. This is a little smaller one. It's a Lego container. Um, but the thing about this one is that it has trenches around it, and they're uh, pretty deep, so when the eggs fall down, they tend to get stuck in there. Um, this is an ice cream bucket, smaller of the three. Uh, this one here, uh, I've been eyeing it for a while and I've been meaning to use it and I think I'm going to finally have my chance. Um, nice thing about this one is that it's wide on top. Um, it doesn't, on the bottom here, it doesn't have the trenches so when the eggs fall down, the males and the females can just pick up the eggs and retrieve it back to the nest. Um, it's wider up here and the water should just be about right to here so uh, it looks really promising and uh, I'm just going to do some experiment see how that goes I also think with this one here I'm going to have a lot of control of uh, the fries at the same time I can still utilize the sunlight and the light and set up it with all my other tanks here and get the heat from the portable, he portable heater here um, and also it's clear so I can see exactly what's going on so it's, it's going to give me a lot of control hoping to um, basically chase that perfect spawn and I'm thinking with this bowl here I can achieve that yeah I, I can achieve that uh, this one here I've, I've bred in here but uh, since it's deeper and smaller on top it's such a pain in the ass to do anything afterwards and take care of the fries or whatever. It's more of just like a uh, an insulation jar for the fighters. It's a two and a half, so it's that's it's ideal for that. Um, and basically, that's that's it. That's a preview of uh, um, just the different containers. Uh, if I had to choose one, or just talk about you know how which one I think is the best, I would say this one here, the um, the smaller rectangular one just because uh, it forces those two fish to be closer to each other. Uh, the round one here is real nice because the fish can see each other at all times which increases enticement and uh, the spawn happens a lot faster um, with these round ones but uh, with the trans uh, non-transparent with the thickness it's harder for the fries to see stuff so so I'm kinda uh, I like this one here it's clear same time it's going to give me a lot of control real deep up here low trenches or not low trenches but uh, uh, not deep trenches um, and uh, transparent so I can see exactly what's going on uh, be able to see the whole spawn uh, that's basically it